The ATEM Mini Switcher from Blackmagic Design is a super compact and very, very inexpensive switcher for four HDMI sources. And you would think that this is the one device that requires absolutely no control. It turns out not to be true. In fact, we have a lot of customers asking us, can you help us control this switcher via TCP commands? So it's not that they need buttons for the panel or for the switcher. They need a way to integrate it into, for instance, an AV infrastructure where you have TCP access via credit restaurant or similar systems. But I can also come to think of other cases uh, where it would be nice to connect the Skyway controller to the ATEM Mini. One would be if you had a PDC controller and you want the camera selection here to listen to what camera is on preview on your ATEM switcher. In that case, you need the PDC Fly to connect to the ATEM switcher to know the state of the preview bus so that can inform the camera selection. So another example would be the AirFly Pro, for instance. Consider this would be a, a switcher panel for your 2ME switcher. It could be a Blackmagic ATEM 2ME and you have a front of house switcher like the ATEM Mini which is designed to uh, have an operator selecting sources for an iMac projection. In a case where you don't have an operator for that, you could integrate that on the AirFly Pro. And I'll give you an example of how that works in the Skyhoy universe. So assuming that we had a standard configuration for the 2ME switcher, we can simply add a device by pressing this button, scroll down, find the ATEM switcher in the list right there, save the settings, we go to the controller configuration, scroll to the bottom of the page where we'll find the IP device settings. We enable this one. We can type in the IP address for the ATEM switcher, obviously, and then we could go on to select keys that we want to use for selecting sources on program. Like, let's take these three, for instance, and um, they are selected by holding down shift. So now, uh, Let's remove this action and then just look at the list of commands. So you see these are all for the main ATEM switcher and then you scroll down, you see you have all the same actions for ATEM switcher number two, that would be the ATEM Mini. So we could select program source, select it for um, source number one, and then we could copy this uh, to the next uh, button we selected, select source number two and so forth. You get the idea. So that's how ATEM Mini is still a very, uh, is very useful to consider integrating this with Skyhoy controllers because of the flexibility of integration and user-friendly solutions that we provide. So uh, I actually have an example here which sort of, it, it really is not um, probable that you'll buy a mini fly to control the ATEM, but at least you can see that we have the ATEM Mini and we can cut and auto and uh, see the transition. They are talking to each other, so the mini fly is actually connected to the ATEM switcher. So I want to take this one out of the loop because what I really want to focus on, and the title of this video, is how this little device is connected to the ATEM Mini. And it doesn't have any buttons. It is a um, essentially black box, although it's blue, and we can connect via TCP. So now look at what I'm doing. I'm opening up a terminal. I'm using Telnet to connect to this device on the IP address that I know it has and on a particular port. So as I do that, I'm now connected to this one. Notice what happens if I um, select input source number four for preview. Okay, look at what happens. I get a response from the blue box here, the ATEM TCP link that uh, currently I have preview input source um, four on ME1. ME1 is indicated by the zero. I think this is how it works. But the main point is that it's very easy to replicate these commands. You basically take this line, copy it, and you can paste it in again. And then let's say that I change this number to three. Look at what happens on the switch. I type in three here. We'll just try again. And there you see, I don't know what happened at first. But anyway, I type in three, you see immediately source number three is selected and it also responds back again that actually preview input source was changed to number three plus the tally information has swapped or, or switched because now input three is on green tally. So um, the cool thing is that basically the way you use this device and discover the commands that you need to set is by operating your switch and you can see they are popping up over here. So if I even um, turn the microphone on and off, you can see these settings ap appearing. Um, as I'm doing that, I can turn on uh, audio follow video on off. Um, I can select 
a transition type, so instead of mix, we select dip and so forth. These are all available over here. Let's uh, try to um, select a transition style manually. So we can now copy this line and type it in again here to have uh, transition style number one selected, and it, that is the, the dip uh, command. So it's selected, shown on the panel. Yeah, there you see, we have TCP access to the Atom Mini switcher from Blackmagic Design using the Atom TCP link.